Engineers, I wanted to post a quick video showing you how to install Ease because it's a little non-intuitive. Um, Ease is some software that uh, is really handy for doing thermo. Um, it's not the only software out there. The reason I use it is it's pretty powerful uh, and we have a license here at CU. Um, it's kind of expensive on your own. Um, there's there's free versions online. Um, if you use Python or MATLAB, you can download packages to do all the same things you can do in Ease. But um, the other reason is if you take Thermo 2 or any advanced Thermo classes, they also, at CU, they also use Ease. And so that's what we'll be using. Uh, head over to the course files and open up the course files. Um, and you're going to want to... Uh, this one right here, download ease.zip, so right-click it and download. If it doesn't show up, then um, it's because you're not logged in with your colorado.edu account. Um, it only will show up if you're logged in with your colorado.edu account to kind of help protect that file. Um, so once you get it uh, opened up, you can, do, um, you can open that file, um, and you're going to want to... In Windows, uh, Ease only works on Windows, by the way. So if you're on a Mac, uh, you can either have like Parallels or Boot Camp installed to, to do this, um, or it can also show you a way to access Ease um, via the internet on your Mac or your PC or your Chromebook uh, in just a minute. Um, so um, I'm going to hit Extract All. And that just extracted it to my downloads. Um, if I go over here to my downloads, um, now I have this, I can run this setup and it's telling me that it's protecting my PC, but I don't want it to, so install it. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is uh, this file right here. You're gonna to need to rename it to EES, um, and you wanna uh, then copy it, control C, and you're going to want to go to where you installed Ease. The default is uh, on your C um, right here in Ease, and you just need to paste that, that file in here um, or it won't work. Um, one more thing you need to do is you need to have the VPN uh, software installed from CU. If you're not on campus, Ease won't work unless you're connected to a campus IP address, um, and that's how we uh, kind of protect the license. Um, so you need to download, um, if you do CU's... Uh, CU Site License, um, OIT has this whole list of software you can download. Um, the one that we want is called uh, Cisco VPN. Let's see if we can find it here. Um, it's right down here at the very bottom, very last one, VPN. Uh, you're going to want to download this Cisco uh, AnyConnect software. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to go through that. Um, but I can go ahead and launch Ease now. Um, so if I run Ease, if I'm not connected um, to CU's network, it's going to be kind of tricky because it's going to launch uh, just fine. It looks like it's installed okay. Um, and I can start typing stuff in. I might do like uh, Y equals 3X plus 2 and X equals 5, and then I might try to run that code. Um, and it's going to say, oh no, I can only use when I'm connected to the IP address, and if I didn't save it, it just closes the program, and that's super annoying. So uh, what I want to do is open up that, um, that Cisco Connect, type in my password, and then I could run Ease again. Um, so I can run it again, and... E stands for Engineering Equation Solver. It's really, really super powerful. Um, the stuff I'm doing it with it in this video is pretty trivial, um, but it, it gets really helpful to, to do different things. So I can do uh, y equals 3x plus 5, and x equals 0.7, and hit run. Whoops, forgot to do, and it solves for x. Um, and why that was that was pretty trivial. Um, it also has some really cool features to help with units um, and and that sort of thing. And it also has all of my thermo properties. So we did those property plots. Um, I can I can do all of those in ease if I want. Um, I can make a property plot for. Um, we did the ideal gas. Uh, we just get to air. Um, and if you wanted to do the uh, pressure versus volume property plot, um, we can we can do that. So we can run this property plot. Um, and it's showing, this is on a log log scale, but it's showing uh, isentropes here, um, showing lines of constant uh, entropy. And 
exotherms showing lines of constant temperature. Um, so, uh, and we could plot our processes on these in this software. If you don't have access to um, a PC or uh, Windows, you can access this in your browser. Just go to um, College of Engineering and Applied Science link uh, slash cloud computing um, and load that up. Um, this is going to load up a remote desktop client that you can run through your browser. Um, you got two options here, um, compute enhanced and graphics enhanced, um, two different types of computers that you can access. Um, this is great if you're doing like SolidWorks rendering um, or I don't know what else you want to do, but we're going to use the compute enhanced. Um, Log in with your CU identity key and password. And we have access to a computer. It looks like this. It has a lot of software on it um, that you might need for different engineering applications. It has LabVIEW. Um, it has Eagle if you're doing PCB layout. Um, or Fritzine has SolidWorks, MATLAB, um, but Mathematica. But most importantly, for this class, it has Ease already installed. So we can uh, open up Ease on this computer. And it's going to run. So we can type in that same thing, y equals. We could do, let's do something a little more interesting. Let's say um, we wanted to say um, 2 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared um, equals force. And run that. Um, tells me I have a unit problem. That's okay. I can, because uh, I multiply kilograms times meters per second squared. Uh, but then if I tell it that I want F to be in newtons, it could it could fix that. So um, it has some really handy unit things as well um, to help you check your units. Um, so that's that's how ease works. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, talk more about ease next week.